I want to believe that Jesus was speaking to the church when he was sharing this parable. Because the Bible says that he sat in a boat and a crowd gathered at the shore. These were people that were following Christ. So it's not that he was speaking to unbelievers, he was speaking to believers. There is the right kind of heart for the word of God. And there is the wrong kind of heart for the word of God. The right kind of heart allows one to grow and become fruitful. Having knowledge, having wisdom and having understanding that leads to fruitfulness. And there is the wrong kind of heart that will not allow the word to even grow in the heart of a man, let alone bearing any form of fruit. If I were to put on my uh, statistics hat, we learn four different kind of ground, right? Out of the four, only one of them is good. The other three were not conducive for any form of growth. And if we were to calculate the percentage, that is what, 75%, can't grow because the heart is not right. That means if you put four believers in front of you, three out of them are not growing because their heart is not in the right place. So only one out of four, only one out of four by statistics is growing. Say I'll be one of the four. Let's talk about the wrong kind of heart first. The wrong kind of heart, like I just said, will lead to stagnancy and backsliding. Anyone with the wrong kind of heart is in danger of missing heaven. I'll give you an example. Judas Iscariot. He spent three good years with Jesus Christ, but his heart was not right. And as a result of that, he missed it. Because he didn't have a right heart. He was with Christ, but Christ was not in him. When the temptation came, he fell easily because all the words that Jesus had been preaching did not touch his heart. He was too busy looking for the money that was coming in, not focusing on the word that is coming from the living word himself. Let's talk about the wayside heart. The wayside heart. Verse 4 of Matthew chapter 13. The Bible say, when he sowed, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside. And the fowls came and devoured those seed. Verse 19 of that same chapter. It say, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away which was sown in his heart. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. Because what we don't understand, there is no chance for us to put it into practice. What we don't understand, there is no way for us to allow it to grow in our heart. Because first of all, we didn't understand what it is. Number two is the stony heart. Someone says stony heart. The heart that is hard as rock and is not rock of ages. Hallelujah. Now, this type of believer can be in the church. When the word comes, they'll be jumping up and down because they are filled with joy. Amen. They are full of joy. I've received that word. Yes, finally. The word will stay for a while. And the joy will stay for a while. However, because there is no, is a stony heart. Nothing can grow on a stone. Are you with me? It is difficult for the world to penetrate a heart that is like a rock. It is difficult. In fact, it is impossible. So the moment any form of tribulation or offense happen, guess what? That is it. The person is offended. And what they have learned, what they, what they see that has been sown, what happens to it, it goes away. There is no way for such a seed to grow 
to the point of bearing fruit. Number three, the one that fell among the thorns. I believe many believers are here in this state of mind. Look, the whole purpose of hearing the word is to be fruitful. That's the whole purpose. It is not for hearing the word's sake. It is for the word to make a difference in our lives. It is to make us draw closer to God. It is to help us understand God more. It is to help us live our lives in the way that pleases God because we are following what the scripture says. But if we are too concerned about everything else that is happening around us and we neglect what the word of God says, the word will be true. The last one, the good ground. This is the right kind of heart that leads to growth and the growth leads to fruitfulness. The Bible said, but other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit some an hundredfold some sixtyfold some thirtyfold verse 23 says but he that receives seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word what's the next thing understandeth the word which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundred, some sixty, and some thirty. A good ground. What is a good ground? That's a soft heart. A heart that is not hardened. A heart that is ready to receive the word. A heart that that wants the world to penetrate who they are. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord make a way for you. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord favor you. It will cause you to have favor with man and cause you to have favor with God. In the name of Jesus. As you go this week, may you be blessed. May you be a blessing. In the name of Jesus, as you go this week, may he watch over you at all times. No evil will be for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare over you today that as you go this week, this week shall be a blessed week for you. In the wonderful name of Jesus. And the hands you have lifted unto God shall not be disappointed. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, I declare that it will bless the works of your hands. It will prosper the works of your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. And it will multiply the works of your hands to his glory and his glory alone. Thank you, our Lord and our God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.